Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am cash planning slash budgeting the, what is this, the third week of June. I have $370 to work with. I've already calculated a couple of numbers um, that I need to do, including my month ahead. Um, and by doing it this way, I should, like with these numbers, I'll be able to be a month ahead on for sure utilities and car insurance but making my way through electric, and then I already know how much I need to do for the 100 envelopes. So, 370, not sure why I cleared that, but minus 40, minus 30, minus 10, and minus 95. So I have 195 to work with. Um, starting with my wallet here, and apologies for my voice, I'm still recovering from a cold. Um, in groceries, I have $25.30, um, ignoring the one, because I take out all my ones when I cash stuff, but I like to keep $80 in here, so we're going to go ahead and put 50 so minus 50 Um, Target, Target has 20 40 60 80 105 um, that's a pretty good amount. I'm going to go ahead and put 10 in. Gas. 20.35. Um, I think I'm just going to put 5 in. Bring it up to 40 and then that'll be enough to fill up. Spending only has ones in it, so I'm going to go 15. And then Oopsie is fully funded at 20 bucks, so we are good there. We don't have to add anything for that. Okay, getting into my high priority binder. Wish I had more space. <laughs> This is always a journey. Emergencies fully funded. Okay. So for savings, I definitely wanted to do 20 bucks. So minus 20. IRA, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bonk you. Has 20. Do I want to do another 20? We'll do 10. Health gets five. And so does medical. And then car gets 10. And then service dog, we're gonna do five. Okay, so that's it for high priority. Um, I definitely want to do 10 in Christmas, so let's go ahead and knock that out. Um, and that's for my Christmas binder. Getting into low priority. My personal spending money. Let's see. Let me knock out some of these um, categories, first of all. We're not going to add anything to eating out. We're not going to add anything to tattoos. And then I have $50 and I have... One, two, three, four, five. Oh, so we can just do 10. 10's across the board. Two, three. Yeah, okay, that was actually really easy. Never mind, I don't even have to look at my binder. <laughs> I don't even have to look. Oh, but I didn't do a dripped by Erica. I didn't do the $5 there. Where can I take a five from? I could take it from wedding. Um, do I have a whiteout anywhere? Yes. Sorry, wedding gets five and then dripped by Erica gets five. Okay, so adding all of this up to make sure it's still 370. We have 50, 10, 5, 15, 40, 30, 10, 20, 10, 5, 5, 10, 5, 10, 10, 10, 
10, 5, 10, 95, and 5. So 370, perfect. Getting into denominations, for groceries, I'm going to do two 20s and a 10. Target gets a 10. Gas, a 5. Spending, 10 and 5. Utilities, two 20s. Car insurance, a 20 and a 10. Electric, a 10. Savings, a 20. IRA, a 10. Health, a 5. Medical, a 5. Car, a 10. Dog, a 5. Amanda Gord's a 10, same with Family and Nintendo. Uh, Adventure gets a 10. Wedding gets a 5. Christmas a 10. 100 Envelopes gets a 50, two 20s. 50, hold on, 50. 50, 70, 90, okay, and a five. Sorry, I had to think about that. I was gonna do 50, okay, anyway. Uh, and then Dripped by Erica gets a five. So 150, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, twenties. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fives. So coming into my bank bag and my teller slips, uh, no hundreds, no ones. We have a 50. We have eight twenties, which is $160. We have 12 tens, which is 120. And eight fives, which is, what is that, 40? Right, eight times five? Yes, okay, <laughs> I have to ask. Um, and that's 370 perfect so I will take this to the bank hand the teller my teller slip and I will cash stuff this money and you will see that in tomorrow's video I hope you enjoyed this video if you did definitely be sure to like comment and subscribe so you catch the catch stuffing and I will see you next time bye